if you have been thinking about starting a book club in your community but you don't know where to start from or even an idea of how to run a book club then you are in the right place because today I'm going to be sharing some valuable tips on how to start and run a book club. <music> welcome back to my youtube channel it's rachel here as always hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing you can also like this video so that it is repaired to other viewers as well so from today's title you can tell that i'm going to be talking about how to start and run a book club in your community or an online book club whatever kind of book club that you want to start Personally, I started the Readers Hub Book Club in August 2018 in Nigeria and we've had a lot of physical meetings and online meetings when COVID hit and I know that joining a book club or even starting one has been one of the most beneficial things to my reading experience and my reading journey in general. You cannot even begin to imagine the benefits of joining a book club other than of course selecting books of the month and just like reading, having accountability, some form of accountability in your reading experience and also being able to hear perspective of other book lovers and readers as you read a book and you can read a book and have different interpretations or perspectives from that book and so um, just being a part of the readers hub has been an amazing experience for me it's been one crazy journey we've grown we've bonded and we've had a lot of great reading experiences it's also amazing how we have different personalities in the group and everybody has what they bring to the table and so each contribution is always valuable so today i'm going to be sharing some tips if you would like to start your book club in your community so the first tip is you want to determine what kind of book club you want to start it could be a physical book club it could be an online book club you need to determine what kind of book club you want and after you've determined what kind of book club you want to start then you have to do some research on the kinds of things that you would be able to do to run and maintain that kind of book club or even to start so if you decide that you wanted to have a physical book club for example then even starting like what your first book club meet is going to be like the kind of people that you're going to invite how you're going to be able to invite them the venue you know where you're going to meet for the first time and those type of things so you need to do some research to find that there's a whole lot of resources and tools that are on the internet just google and you'll find something out then the next tip would be to reach out to friends or family or even your social media um, friends or whatever and you'll be surprised there's a lot of people in communities that want to join book clubs but they don't want to start it and if you don't have a problem with starting it then reach out to them you'll be surprised at how many people will turn up if it's even online then all the better because you're not limited by any form of geographical location or things like that i know that when i wanted to start my book club i know that i reached out to quite a number of people and not everybody turned up at the first meeting but quite a number of people that I didn't even expect to be so interested in it were actually the ones who turned up and even stayed for the longest so reach out to people and see how that goes also like I said you want to look out for a suitable venue so all of this is for the first time that you're going to meet assuming that you've decided you want a physical book club um, if you decide that you want an online book club then there will not be any need for you to source for venues or pricing of menus or things like that in terms of if it's going to be one where there'll be food I would advise that you don't start what you can't finish so if you're going to have a physical book club and you say there's going to be refreshments and the refreshments are on you the first day then maybe you make it clear to members that look going forward we're not going to be having refreshments except you come to the venue and pay for yourself so make certain certain things clear so that it's not just assumed also you may choose to have a paid membership book club or a free book club it depends on you totally and these are the things that you take into consideration when you're thinking of running the cost and also responsibilities if you have a nine to five job and you have a really hectic schedule but you're thinking about starting a book club i do not think that it will be wise to take on so many responsibilities and so many burdens you can also learn to delegate but that's also when you have entered into the book club you've been able to bond with members you like when you've started the book club you've been able to bond with members and members feel sort of very comfortable in the book club so at the beginning you don't really want to take on too many responsibilities that you are constantly burned out because yes you're starting a book club but you also need to prioritize your mental health so set a date like you don't even have to 
think too much about it just set a date if you've decided something set maybe the next saturday or whenever and have that date as a consistent date and time so if you say saturday every first saturday of the month or every last saturday of the month have that as a consistent time there might be times where you guys may not be able to meet physically if it's a physical book club have alternatives for an online meet maybe a zoom or a teams meeting and if it's an online um, meeting then you're good to go always have the links readily available you can create whatsapp groups at the first meeting and add everybody's number get their email addresses and just basically to stay in contact with them throughout the month until the next time that you guys meet so this is you starting your book club you've reached out to people you've done some research you've determined the kind of book club that you want on the first day you need to make it clear to members what the rules of the book club are what kind of book club you aim to be I think that a very good way would be to focus more on the quality than on the quantity so you you want to have a book club that there are readers who are consistent who are committed to reading and along the way if anybody's struggling each person can hold each other accountable you don't really want a book club where there's 50 or 100 people and you're struggling to even get attendance of some people you don't even know some of the people who are in the book club people come left right and center and then you know there's no form of accountability so somebody can come once in two years and you don't even know who they are so if you've gotten all of that figured out and you start you send out your invite you have your first meeting make sure that all of this is laid clear at the first meeting so that people can get a feel of what kind of book club this is going to be also get suggestions feedback on how the book club could possibly run get some suggestions from your friends from your colleagues from even people who would come to the book club and you know be open also there are some people that you may not have invited that will stumble on the book club i know that we have one particular member who didn't even plan to come to the cafe that we went to that day and he just came and he was like what's going on there and he found out that it was a book club meet and he joined us and he has been one of the most active members on in the book club since so keep your mind open about membership and who can join you never really know who seems like committed or serious or whatnot but the most important thing is to make sure that you have a community of committed readers and people who if they're struggling with reading you can sort of hold them accountable and they can do the same for you so now that you've gotten to know how to start which usually seems like the toughest part but in reality it's not the toughest part that's the simplest part the hardest part now is to actually run the book club trust me so if you're going to run the book club i think that the most important thing is to have a structure you need to have rules you need to have structure in place you need to know what is going on at every time there needs to be rules for as it pertains to time of the book club meets the maybe the venue choosing the venue who is going to facilitate you can have a situation where you rotate the facilitator so that it's not just you to allow for times when you may be absent there has to be structure in place and also there has to be sort of consequences when things don't happen so that people take these things seriously especially when it's a free membership book club and it's not one that people are paying for so have a structure so that things can be organized there's a form of accountability there's a form of cohesion in decision making you can also get feedback from members occasionally maybe quarterly or biannually about how the book club is running how the structure is going and if that is okay for members as well also another tip would be like i said to remember quality over quantity so as you go on Yes, a lot of people may want to join the book club, but you need to let them understand that the most important thing is to be committed to the reading and to accountability. And those should be really the two watchwords of a book club because as much as you want to read and get to enjoy and meet people of like minds who also love books, there also needs to be that organization and it needs to be passed across to members or potential members that you are big on commitment and accountability. Also, another tip, as you started book club to run it will be to have weekly check-ins or once in two weeks check in or with members so that's where a whatsapp group will come in or a telegrams group will come in you can have whatever form of group maybe on whatsapp or any other app that you decide where you can check in with members to see how they're doing throughout the month in terms of the book so that whatsapp too would also have its own rules and i mean don't really post things that are not relevant to books so you check in on members how they're doing with the book if there's anybody struggling if there's anybody in a reading slump if there's anybody who needs any form of assistance or it's just not even having a very great month that's a way to sort of keep in touch with members until you see them at the next book club meet assuming that this is a monthly book club 
situation another tip if you are running a book club would be to be patient with members one major thing that i've learned is the importance of being patient because you have different members from different backgrounds with different personalities you have personalities that are more dominant than others you have personalities that are quiet people that may not say anything on the whatsapp group for like 10 years people who struggle to make book club meet and you can't i mean as much as you reach out to them you all also want to be patient and you also want to be compassionate because you don't know what anybody may be going through at any point in time so just remember to be patient with members also another tip in running a book club would be to delegate and assign roles so that you don't take everything on to yourself so you may want to delegate facilitation and however you pick your facilitators that's fine maybe you can do out of a jar put the names of everybody in it but you also want to in terms of roles of people who are keeping track of people you know you sort of want to delegate this thing so that you don't burn out and also so that members can feel involved because it's not every member who would actually volunteer maybe to facilitate or to host a book club meet and what you want is even this, the quiet ones or the pretty reserved ones you want them to be able to speak and bond with members as well so delegating and assigning roles will definitely help another thing is when it comes to book selection for the book of the month you need to keep in mind how members will access the books you can provide sources for them you can also just keep in mind how the books will be selected so are you going to alternate one genre between the other also try and get feedback from members because i know that people want to feel like they're involved in decision making processes and also it helps because i mean this is a book club full of members so you want to know what they feel about the genres of the books that are being selected remember don't start what you cannot finish try to get people as involved as possible you don't want a situation where it's just you doing every single thing another thing like i said be to get feedback from members which is something that could happen quarterly or biannually and let them know that their contributions are highly valuable when you are hosting book club meets at the beginning you can have icebreakers or tension breakers so that people can get to know themselves let people introduce themselves maybe say something weird about themselves and this also leads to my next tip which is to have bonding activities which is something that we recently introduced in our book club and that was a a feedback from one of the members where we could have bonding activities that do not have to do with book club or books you can just hang out chill but it's just a community of book lovers that want to hang out and chill another thing would be to try different genres and lengths of books in the book club when you're selecting books especially when you first start you really want you know because people have jobs that they're doing people have things that they're working on people have time consuming activities so you want a situation where you can pick books from genres and lengths of books that people would actually finish so in terms of reading 700 page books you don't really want things like that also sort of get what the, get a feel of what the majority wants another tip would be to follow up on members individually especially members who have not been attending book club meet for a while you want to find out how they're doing not just about oh i've not seen you at book club meet how are they actually doing are they doing okay are they physically ill are they mentally ill are they going through any form of um, struggles or challenges in any way that you can help so yeah running a book club is actually almost a full-time job and it's something that you have to be committed to it's not something that one minute you're here the next minute you're there or you're not really interested and the last tip that I would say if you're planning to run a book club is stay motivated you have to find ways different ways of motivating yourself because there'll be days where you don't even want to attend book club meet but you're present you're in town you're online you have everything good to go but you're just not in the mood you're not motivated there are times where you don't feel like reading the book of the month there are times when you feel like you're just tired and you're done and that's where delegation will come into play but also remembering that you're leading people and you are trying to manage people and you're trying to lead a community of book lovers so you need to stay motivated as much as possible so that even when people are going through reading slumps you can be some form of motivation or inspiration to people the last tip that I would also say is to take care of your mental health. Prioritize your mental health. Do not, as much as possible, get burned because you are trying to run a book club because it is a lot and it takes a lot to manage people, especially adults with different personalities. Somebody will step on somebody's toes tomorrow. People will call you. People will tell you so many things, but you really want a situation where you are not burned out and where your mental health is not suffering. So if you ever need to take a break, take a break. Get somebody to step in for you. If 
it's to host or if it's to organize or if it's to do something for the period where you need a break and i'm sure that with these valuable tips you will be able to start and run your book club successfully if there's any other thing that i'm leaving out if you run a book club or you started one recently please let me know in the comments if these tips were helpful please let me know as well and i wish you success in your book club that you are about to start remember you may be thinking if i start a book club who's going to join who's going to join? you will just be surprised by how many people would actually join your book club so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye